Hi, I'm Angela with Visit My Smokies. We're here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee in front of Sugarland Winery. We're here to get an insider's view on the winemaking process where you can come sample the wines for free and find your favorites to take home with you. We're going to head inside now and meet up with JB, the Vice President of Operations here at Sugarland Winery. Hey Angela, welcome to Sugarland Cellars. Hi JB, good to Hi. see you again. Thanks ready, for having us. Ready to get started on a tour? I am. Let's go. Well, great. We'll show you the place. So you can see the barrels behind you. That's actually where we age the wines once they go through the whole process. But once they crush and process the grapes, they bring them up to our location and we transfer them into these tanks so that we can ferment and then transfer and filter and bottle. This is a process near the end of, of making the wine called cold stabilization. The wine is pretty much a stage in between juice and vinegar. And our job is to kind of fold it at that point. All right, you ready to do a little tasting with us today? I am ready. This is probably the favorite part for most people. Absolutely. Right? It's the best part for me, too, because I get to pour wine to people and make them really happy, right? That's right. <laughs> so for someone who had never done a wine tasting experience before, where would be the best place to start? The, the most important thing to know about wine tasting is come in and be really comfortable with the tasting. A lot of people are nervous when they first walk into a winery because maybe they've never tried wine before and they don't know what to expect. But just trust the person behind the bar to sort of take you through the tasting, and they'll really make you feel comfortable and you can relate to the wine and do a great tasting. Well, let's start you out with the dries, if you're all right with that. Yeah. Now this white wine, it's 100% Tennessee-grown Viognier. It's a particular grape. It's grown out of Bristol, Tennessee. So give that one a try. It should be nice and light and clean, and I've actually got a good cheese to go with that, too. Well, with cheese, you sort of want it to pair opposites. You either want a sweet or a nice, clean, dry white wine to go with the spicy cheese. And then with a smoked cheddar, we're going to try in a minute, we'll give you some uh, some red wine as well. It's been working today. We're going to let you pass the rest of that, that in work. the tasting bin. And that's important to know, too, for anyone that comes in it's their first time experience. Um, you don't have to drink the wine. You're not going to upset the person if you don't enjoy the wine that they poured for you or if you don't want to drink everything they give you because, you know, they want you to be able to walk out the door, too. But also enjoy the wine that they poured for you. All right, so we let you try the dry white wine, so we're going to go to the red now. Okay. Now, this, this wine is called 1802. It used to be a Pinot Noir out of Oregon, but this time it's 100% Tempranillo out of the same vineyard that the white wine came from as well. So I'm gonna swirl this one up for you a little bit. And I'm swirling it, aerating it a little bit, because it actually brings out the aromas and the flavors of the wine when you go to do that. And that wine we typically pair with, a sharp, with the uh, sharp cheddar. So when you give it a sample, give it to try with the cheese and see what you think. You definitely paired those well. Nice, good. Okay. This is uh, gonna be similar to a Riesling, but the two grapes that actually make this wine up are Traminette and Chardonnay. So I'll give that one a try and see what you think. And that one has a bit of sweetness to it. We're going up in sweetness category. That's a semi-sweet. Yeah. JB, thank you for the tour today and for explaining more about wine to me. It was a great experience. For more information on wineries and distilleries in the area, you can always check out visitmysmokies.com. And you're welcome to come back anytime. We welcome anyone to come to the wineries and visit us and we'll pour you a little bit of wine to taste. Thank you, JB. Thank you. Good to see you.